I'll start with the shampoos and conditioners, and I use Trader Joe's. If you guys have seen any of the other videos, I love Trader Joe's shampoos and conditioners. That's all I'm going to use from now on. Shampoo is, you know, nothing to scream about. It cleans my hair, it gets the job done, it's natural, it's good. That's why I use it, and it's cheap. Conditioner, on the other hand, is amazing. This stuff is just ridiculously good. It has a really nice silky feel. It's extremely cheap, $2.98, so I can put as much of this on my hair as I need to. Um, as soon as I work it into my hair, after the shampoo, as soon as I work it into my hair, my curls immediately loosen. So it's really easy for me to detangle my hair. It's like playing in my hair during the day and I start to make a knot, I can just leave it, go home, take a little bit of this conditioner in my fingers and work the knot out. I go to Trader Joe's and I stock up on this stuff. If you're going to Trader Joe's, buy it in bulk. This stuff is amazing. You can use as much as you want. It's ridiculously cheap, organic, all natural, great quality, good price. I'm trying to do go all natural right now. So, meaning I, I want to only use all natural products. I do have a bunch of Miss Jessie's leftover that I have to get rid of. When I was first transitioning, I wanted to try these out. And, um, and it's a really great product. If you want to try Miss Jessie's, I suggest getting that little sample kit that comes with like a bunch of the small jars. That way, that way you can like try everything out and see what you like best. And then when I was done with everything, I just kept the jars and I can put whatever concoctions I want in there later. Huge 16 ounce containers, um, and what I do, I bought these like a year ago, and I still have a ton of this stuff left. Like this bad boy is full. Look at that. It smells really good. And the baby cream. This is probably like yeah, well, it's almost done. And then the silk stretch silkening cream is yeah, that one's almost done. But <clears throat> what I did to make these last. Because these are really potent, and that if you mix it with something else, you can it still has the same effect on your hair, and you make the this last a lot longer, especially since it's so expensive. Um, transitioning, I would use the um, Miss Jessie's creams, and I would mix them with a little bit of live conditioner that you could buy at Sally. Um, I'd mix it with the live conditioner, and I think I'd put a little bit of um, jojoba oil or castor oil in there too. And then, oh, coconut oil. And I put coconut oil in there. And I mix that all together and make like a big container of it. And then I could just use that for like the month. And it used like a little tiny bit of Miss Jessie's. And then the coconut oil and the conditioner in it lasted for so long. And it did the same exact thing as it would Miss Jessie's on its own. And it was good too because a lot of times if you put some of the stuff in your hair, most of the creams, Miss Jessie's, um, besides the baby buttercream, if you put it in your hair, it's kind of crunchy. So if you mix it with something else too, it'll make it a little bit soft. Use this all up. Once this is used up, then I'm gonna move on because this is really expensive and it's not all natural. And the live conditioner too that I mixed it with, I'm replacing that and I'm replacing these with shea butter. My new regimen is for creams in my hair, I use shea butter and I mix it. And this is basically shea butter unrefined mixed with uh, jojoba oil, castor oil, and olive oil and vitamin E. So all that is in here. Really easy to do. I can show you how to do it. It's not a big deal. It takes two seconds and it's really easy. So this is my shea butter. This is my like pomade shea butter. And I'll use this for like, maybe I'll slick it back sometimes or if I'm doing like a dry twist out, this is really good. Keeps it really, um, keeps it really heavy so that it weighs my hair down. If I'm just doing like my own, you know, quick wash and go style, I'll, I use this other cream mixture that I make using this shea butter. I use this shea butter, um, but the base of it is coconut oil. So I take coconut oil as a base, I add shea butter, and I can show you how I do this too. And the shea butter already has <clears throat> jojoba oil, <clears throat> olive oil, castor oil, and vitamin E in it. <clears throat> I add more olive oil more castor oil, more jojoba oil. So we have in here, <clears throat> this is my everyday cream. It's a lot silkier, it's not as thick, and I'll show you the difference. It's silkier, not as thick as the pomade. This is the unrefined with just the oils, a little bit of the oil for like a kind of a sticky. And this is the everyday. It feels really good in my hair, adds a nice sheen, um, 
and has like lots of vitamins and stuff. So that's what I use every day. So for everyday styles, this bad boy. If I need to slick something down, unrefined. Every once in a while, I'll throw in some Miss Jessie's, try and get rid of it. That's it. That's all I use. Um, every once in a while, I'll do like a conditioner. That's it, guys. Hope that helps. Questions? Ask me. And I post the shea butter in a little bit. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a really great night.